Someone is taking it low on this back nine. I can just feel it. Like record breaking nine. Oh! oh. Welcome back to another Saturday match, guys. Uh, today, we're back at you with another GM Golf video on a Saturday, obviously. Saturday match number 32. Grant is currently four down. If you guys haven't been staying to the Saturday matches, basically what we do is every Saturday, at least we try every Saturday, to do a nine-hole match, match play style. The winner gets a point. We're just kind of going to keep doing these throughout the year. And currently, I am four up in the matches. Grant just won the last one. We're out here at Sunflower Hills, my home course, on the back nine. We're both swinging good today, I got to say. Um, conditions, really, really hard. <sighs> Okay. The thing yeah. is, on the front nine, it was uh, it was a lot colder than it is now. It's starting to warm up. It's a little breezy today, but nonetheless, I think there's going to be some scoring opportunity on the back nine, and I think you're going to see some low scores out of us, hopefully. Course record. On the back nine, only... I wonder what the lowest nine is. I, I should go into the clubhouse. Yay. Oh, yikes. That's actually fun. Yeah, perfect. That went... 220. the wind a little bit too much but that should be okay over there in the right rough like 130 here i'm gonna hit a little 50. i don't know it just disappeared up there 92 yards here the center of the green i actually do have a shot of green i got a little 58 degree grants he's in there nice so i gotta expect him to make birdie hopefully i can make birdie as well I think I'm pretty close, actually. Let's go. Garrett's still behind a tree, and he still put it inside me. It's unreal how he does that sometimes. <laughs> Missing everything right today. You good, Garrett? No, nah, definitely not. I'll give you a two putt from there. Oh! 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 Off square, baby. Let's go. Someone is taking it low on this back nine. I can just feel it. Like record breaking nine. Eight under in the next eight holes. And it's going to be me. All right, guys. On to our second hole. Garrett took me back to a tee box here. I don't think they use it anymore, but we're back here. He just wanted to show me. It's very rare, sometimes in tournaments. I don't know if I ever see the tee box back here, but it's kind of an older tee box, and it's actually further back than the actual tips, which is a little forward, about 20 yards ahead of it. It's kind of cool, it's like nestled back into the trees. That's kind of cool. A little bunt driver there, went down the middle. Can't ask for much more. I don't want to jinx myself, but my swing does feel like compact wise and just like it just feels some of the best it ever has. So hopefully I can start scoring on the back nine and take it low. So this hole has a giant hill in the fairway. And I think the issue is here is I landed up on top of the hill and Garrett landed on the down slope. I just didn't hit it hard. It's still a little frozen. My body's thawing out. No, I, but, took, uh, <laughs> no, I took you back to my back tee for a reason. Yes, he's, he does this stuff to his advantage. So basically he knows he can carry it down over this ridge. I can't. So now I'm going to have a little bit longer than him. He's right. probably going to be down at the flat part with a wedge into a par five. Oh, we're both down here. We're good. Wait, we're, good. we're both we're down right. at the bottom part. That's sick. Okay, see so you almost got it. Like, we're literally the same. That is what is crazy about this hole, is I think it's like four th or 5.30, and we have 130 yards in. I love it, though. So you just hit a 400-yard drive? Yep, 400 yards, guys. Remember that. That's how far I hit it. Grant here, 133 yards. Um, eagle opportunity at an all-time high. And let me tell you, I, I need it. I've been My spirits have been falling a little bit. I made a double bogey in the last match, and then followed by a bogey three-putt. And then I missed six-footer for birdie so it's time to turn things around and it's it's gonna happen right here Rhinosaurus this looks nice oh baby that looks real nice I feel like I'm long but that's out I can almost guarantee you're not long I would almost place my life on it 130 I got a little pee wedge a little knocker here Oh, 
that is so fit. money. Lord have mercy. Fit in the hole. It looks like Ryder's filming it. He's looking back. He gave us the look of destiny. He oh, gave he the, the thumbs up. The Luis thumbs up signature. That was nice. It was like three inches from like one hop jumping in. <laughs> that would have been, that would have been nice. I've never had an out. I have had an albatross. <laughs> I've never had an albatross out here. Guys, Ryder just showed me the clip from up by the green. It landed here, took a huge hop in the air, and then landed right by the pen and stop that, that that's cool knock it in brother left to right here garrett's probably gonna make eagle so i gotta roll this have the hole with an eagle Yo! <laughs> to be fair this is like i said it's, it's kind of like a park so. that's huge that's always fun to make eagles but currently to one up in the saturday match On a hole 12, par four over the hill. This is another very attackable hole. It's always funny, like whenever I gain distance and then come back to this course, it's always so weird for me because everything just changes mentally. Like for example, when I grew up playing this course, I would have 200 yards on this green like every time when I was like 14, 15. Now we're probably gonna have like 90, 85 yards. It's just mm. crazy. Got a fade, right? A little left. Uh... That was really good. Unfortunately, it just did not fade. Right where I wanted to start it and just went straight, so. Great here with the driver. Got the D-stick in hands. Let's see what he can do. Oh, he's going with the little Tommy Fleetwood. Do it for Tommy. I can see that through impact. He like held it. I'm sorry, guys. Kind of forgot to zoom in on the ball, so. But it was in the left, left side of the side, yeah. yeah. I think we're pretty similar. I, dude, I hit a bullet there. Did I like? That's cool, you like get a little Tommy. Yeah. Garrett just found his ball way over there. He said it hit the left tree. I'm astonished because if you guys watch the tracer, I was literally headed right at Grant's lawn at this left tree. It had to have like hit off a base of a root. There was a huge mark on the ball, but the fact that that just bounced literally 70 yards that way is, that's crazy. I've never seen anything like it. Well guys, this is not, not where you want to miss it. Would have been nice to get a bounce like that, but it doesn't always happen like that. So I have like 90 yards here. I really have nothing. It's like almost like a putt chip. a little harder but easy up and down for the par here this literally goes as my number one best bounce i've ever had on a golf course if you guys have any like good bounce stories let let me know in the comments down below like anything bouncing on a tree onto the green to like five feet i've heard of that happening but this is crazy because it bounced off a tree and still went forward and to the right 70 yards i yeah anyways Gotta take advantage of it. Let's make it. Got it overspin. Oh, Grant. Am I inside you? No. Ah! Well, I'm outside him. Great. Give him a read. For everyone, all the viewers at home that don't believe, look at that mark. <laughs> that is crazy. That was weird. I, I didn't know the read on that putt because I thought Grants went right. That takes me two up through three holes here, guys. On to hole 13, par three, hole in one in play. Well, we're flying the drone up by the green just in case. You never know. This is what we're looking at here. Downwind, 195. We got the drone up by the green. Ryder is dialed over there looking. A real life video game. All right. Could be in the hole. What a shot. I didn't really swing hard either, so I would say it's seven. I would, yeah, because I'm still a little short. That was nice though. I hit that really good. Like I said, feeling good vibes in this hole. Feeling like maybe Grant's is going to scare the hole. You never know. Yep, feeling good vibes on this hole, Grant. Feeling great vibes. A couple good shots there on this par three. Take the seven up lead. Course record. Is everything right? Got that one. In for par, Grant. Take it back to one down. It was getting warmer and then the sun left us and now it's getting colder. Putting up the hill for his birdie to take him to one down. 
That is good. I will give it to him a couple poor attempts though for a birdie. All right, I got driver here on hole 14. We got some water on the left. I just pulled a mic out. We got some water on the right. I'm teeing this low and trying to hit like a little bit of a lower shot, kind of right at the car path. What the? That was perfect. Low penetrator, low penetrating ball flight. That was the goal. I teed it up a little. That was actually, that was really cool. I was, sometimes when you pull up a shot and it just, it's just like really perfect, it just makes you happy. Grant here with the driver as well. Oh, I thought for a second that was water, but it's coming left. Yeah, that's nice. Real nice. It like faded in the beginning. A little drady. It was it was like a it was like a fruit. It was like a frog. This is bad. It didn't go anywhere. 160 into the wind. Wow. Think about Tommy. Do this one for Tommy. Oh. Alright, a little seven iron. Come on. I switch clubs. Thank you, Putton. Try to bone my wrist. 136. I got a little nine iron. I'm trying to do the same thing Grant just did. It's a little knock down here. God. Thanks. Let's go. Come on. Grant's looking at about 60 feet, 50 feet. 75 feet. I got about 20 feet for my birdie, which on this hole, I'll take that pretty much every day. Like this hole typically just in general when it's into the wind is not an easy hole. I would say in my opinion, 13, 14, 15, 16 is one of the hardest stretches of holes. It doesn't seem like it, but just in general, out of the courses I've played in Kansas City, it's up there for tough to stretch. And in the summer of 13, the green is like so hard to stop your putts. This hole obviously just, it's just tough. And the next hole you'll see is very hard as well, as well as 16. Grant? Oh! I think for the first time in history, I just asked Grant for a tee. Every time we get to the tee box, he always asks. Anything outside of 10 feet, I'm not going to line up anymore because I've been struggling with just like, I guess, feeling the line. I'm just going to pick a line and trust it here. Just feel it. I mean, I grew up here. I should be able to know that. Oh, and you hit it too hard, Garrett. Let's put the pressure right back on him. Well, couple solid pars. I mean, Grant really did get away with one, making that. What would you say? <laughs> I got away with one. He did. He made a 15 footer. See, that's good that he thinks that I got away with one. In my mind, standard procedure. On to hole number 15, par four that's playing like really long today in the wind. You guys will see. It's like 470, I think 460, 470 from the tips. So it's gonna be fun. All right, this is what I'm talking about. A very tough hole. It's actually only 450 today, though, into the wind. You got driver in hand. You pretty much have to hit driver no matter what on this hole. Two up here, guys. If I can win this hole, it's stormy. Whoa, I did not think of that. But if I can win this hole and win another hole, it's stormy. That was good. I think Drew in the fairway. That ball was in the air for a long time because of the wind. Yeah. That was solid, just in the left side of the fairway. Might have a ways in because it's kind of spinny, but. Nice ball. I'm gonna land on top of mine. That's short ears, Garrett. It, it was straight. It just went. It almost hit the moon. Well, here we go. How far do you got? 185. I'm gonna hit a little seven iron here and really knock it. Dang, this hole's playing long today. Into the wind. Oh, oh. Okay, that was really cool. No nice shot. It bounced so hard left, but man, I, I penetrated it. Little eight iron here, kind of same idea as my last hole. Same idea as the nine iron I hit on the last hole, just nice low and penetrating. Wow. Nice shot. That was cool. I think drew a ton. A little spinny. Fortunately, a little short, but it's okay. Crazy how far that was playing. 166 yards. Pretty full punch eight iron. I'm way short. All right, I'm going to do what Garrett, react to what Garrett does. If he like hits it up there way by, I'll probably just lag it. Hit it. A little left to right here. It's slow. Yo. 
It is very slow up this hill. Here we go for the par. On to the hardest part three of the course, hole number 16, downwind today. You get over those like four footers at Sunflower, you just like feel like you just know you're gonna make them every time. Stop. Dude, but if you're at Perso Farms, you know you're gonna miss them every time. 207, playing a lot shorter. I got a seven iron, but I'm thinking it could be a six. It just, I don't know, it's downwind, so. It's gonna be a full seven. I mean, I'm gonna crank on a seven. It's gonna be an easy six, but I, I like six better. Chunked it. Man, I've done that a lot today. Hit behind the ball. That's up and downable, that's the miss. You, you really just can't miss left, so hopefully we can get that up top. That was a bad swing. Yeah, it's a good play right there. <laughs> wow, that came up short. All right, now it's basically an up and down. I don't know. We got a ways, guys. We got a ways. So I was impressed. It had some nice nip on it too. That was cool. I got a 58 degree. It's looking like I got to get something out. Grade's pretty much in, so I gotta make this, I think. <laughs> he cursed me. All right. Oh, nice. That's really good up and down there. He gets me to one down with how many to go? Two. Three to, oh, two, okay. One down with two to go. Now I gotta make something happen. All right, guys, we got the honors here. Garrett's over there taking them. This is a par five. Nice ball. That's pretty cool. All right, that's the best swing of the day. If I could copy and paste that swing, whoo, we'd be good. Try to play a fade for some stupid reason, and it drew. It's not often you see this, folks. What is that? Ah, uh, it's the driver, man. It's the driver. The thing is, I need to keep it low no matter what, because I got this tree, but I still want to go for it. I have, I'm not going to get it there. Well, I might. I have 300 yards in the wind. There's probably not a chance I'm going to get it there, but I'm going to try. But hit it, driver. Just try and get it under this tree. Let's go. I didn't think that was going to be an issue, but unfortunately it actually went too low and like skimmed off the ground. It spun weird to the right. We're over here in the fairway. I can't get there, but we can get it pretty close. Let's see if we can get it up just short of the, short of the green here. I'm going to probably have 60 yards in. Garkam, garkam. All right. Yeah, you can talk. We gotta keep it quiet. We gotta keep it quiet in the car. That was actually, it's gonna be quite long. I'm gonna have probably, if I had to guess, 30 to 40 feet, so. That was a tough situation because I had to pull a 54 with not too much green to work with and try and keep it under that tree, which thankfully I was, was able to, but. Dude, I have 60 yards on the dot and I said that after I hit my three wood. I'm gonna probably have 60 yards in. Oh, sit, sit, sit. Sit! The door was open. Did he just mess up? Why are you going low, Grant? I want to do a one hopper. Just get it up and down, you know. You know what to do. All right, just along in the green. I'm trying to roll this one to the pin. Also, you want, you want to get it close, too, though, at the same time. Yeah. You want to be aggressively passive. The wind just blew that ball. Yeah. This green is really fast from back to front. I feel like over the years, I might be wrong, but I feel like over the years, it's gotten more sloped and more fast. That's unfortunate. Hopefully we can make this for the par. I mean, Grant actually arguably has a tougher shot than I did back there, so. Whoa! 
Hey. That's good. Well, Garrett, you know what to do. Make it interesting. Here we go. Dude, this match has been a weird match. What a putt. Oh my goodness. That was such a hard putt. He's one up with one to go. Slippery slider right there, guys. Right in the left side. Let's go. That was huge, actually, because I've been kind of pushing my putts lately. So for me, that was a really intimidating putt considering it was going so hard left to right. But on the last hole, still one up. Let's keep going. Alrighty then, on to hole number 18, par four, a little bit of a dog to the right. We had a driver in hand. Grant has a driver in hand. Let's see what we can do. We've been making a slow comeback on him. We're creeping on him. Now we gotta get him. Yes, ice the kicker. Come on. He said, wait like 20 seconds. So Ryder's icing the kicker to get an angle. Uh, like. See, he's on you. He's on your team. Right, I, I know it. Colors, colors. Yeah, I'm getting nervous. Oh my gosh, club face. Could it close? Oh, here we go. It's over now. I mean, by now it's just over. Oh, sit for him. Oh no, that could be in the creek. Shush, stop. See, I don't know if there's a creek. I hit that good. I actually, that was fine. Oh my God. Oh no. Right by yours. Are touching. See, I was trying to play a nice draw starting it over Ryder, but. Is that in the creek too? Is that yeah. the imaginary creek up no, there? No, 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 Mine's fine. Mine's in the creek. Yeah. yeah. Well, look at that. Our our ball's legit. Are almost touching over there. And everyone says Garrett hits it so far. Look, did you really hit it that far? Looks like I outdrove Grant. You have 80? Yeah. So I have 79. Yeah, you outdrove me. It's always a couple inches. You get me by. This is actually not bad. I mean, we got a little gap up here. All right, let's see it, Grant. I got to get this up pretty high. Right? Final hole. You said 80? No pressure. I think it's short. Do I think it's a little bit short. Basically just handing it to Garrett here. It's left. Yeah, that one came out weirdly left. It's gonna be okay though. Off camera, Grant's saying how many blades of grass I have to cover it. I don't even think you can estimate how many. It, it's a lot, we'll just say that. Hopefully I can roll it over these pieces of grass down the hill. Not a great shot under the pressure situation. We can recover. I haven't been making too many putts, and I think, I think now is the time. Okay, he's jumping up and down. Here we go. The left or right here. It just came backwards! Dude, I'm literally like crying <laughs> tears of laughter. That came backwards. I literally, it like, it had backspin. It jumped out of the hole. It was a lip. Garrett, no, it was. it was weird. <laughs> Garrett, you know what to do. Well. I, oh, yeah. I'm sorry for laughing, I am. No, I, no, I don't want to. No, I think you can laugh, it's okay. But no, that one, like, it, like the ball came back to me, almost, it was weird. I gotta say, like, that was weird. Was, that was the next level lip out right there, especially. That was to win the hole. That would have tied in the match. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this match, guys. This is the second match in Kansas City um, that takes me back to five up in the Saturday matches. We are playing two matches later today at Dubs Dread. Stay tuned for the next two Sundays. That is probably one of the hardest courses in all of Kansas, in my opinion, so. Things will get interesting. Some good golf was played today, but. Also some bad golf, so. Overall, it was, it was pretty steady though. We, none of us really had any big numbers. It was just right. kind of steady golf. Uh, I thought I made it. I did hit it hard. I, I mean, I hit it very hard, but you know, you'd think some of them would go in, just no. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, stay tuned for more content here in Kansas City. We're gonna be here for a week. Cranking out a lot of good content. We have a lot of cool ideas, so uh, shout out to Ryder behind the camera as well. He's gonna be killing it. He's got, he's got the drone, he's got everything else, the B-roll and stuff. So, hopefully you guys are enjoying the upgrade in the content on this trip. Until next time, guys. Peace out.